All right, hey guys, um, real quick, I just wanted to show you a couple of cool features that I found uh, in iOS 5. And you guys might have seen them, might not have. Uh, either way, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what's going on with uh, some of the stuff here. So um, first one that I found out that was really, really cool is uh, if you go in settings and, oh, let me back out of here so you can, okay, if you go in settings here and you go to general, scroll down to accessibility and uh, if you go down here uh, you see you can turn on LED flash for alerts and that'll actually uh, f put your flash on in a certain pattern when you receive like a text message or uh, you know a voicemail or an email or whatever it'll notify you via LED which is pretty cool um, then also what is freaking amazing is custom vibrations and it says, uh, assign unique vibration pattern to people in contacts. Change the default pattern for everyone in sound settings. So what you can do, what I found out that you can do actually, which is pretty cool, um, check this out. Go into phone and uh, let's just go, I'm going to make a new contact, 555, all fives. And uh, we're going to add this to my contact list. Create a new contact. Okay, so I can type in... Uh, the name here, let me see, Dom, and there's a phone number. Now what I can do is I can set, okay, I can set the ringtone. What's really cool is the vibration. So you can set all these, you know, predefined vibrations, and it'll just, uh, like, it'll tell you, it'll show you what it feels like. But if you go to create new vibration, this is where the magic happens. Um, click on there. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, let me try to uh, tap to create vibration pattern. Let me see. Okay. Tap to create vibration pattern. You guys can see that now. So I can just literally tap whatever I want on this screen right here. And it's going to write that vibration pattern. Check it out. Now see those little dots at the bottom that are being created as I'm tapping? So I'll press stop. Um, now I know you guys can't hear. I'll actually put this on my phone so you can hear this vibration. I'll put my phone to the camera so you can hear the vibration pattern. All right, so basically I was able to do a custom vibration pattern for this contact that I created. I can save it, call it a name, um, yes. Save, and there it is, custom vibration pattern right there. Uh, that's pretty freaking ridiculous. I've never had a phone that was able to do that, create your own custom vibration patterns. Um, so that's pretty innovative. Uh, let's see, another one here is uh, on the camera app. If you go into the camera app, you can actually check this out. Okay, so there's my iMac keyboard. You can pinch to zoom on the camera app, which is pretty cool. So if you just want to zoom, pinch in and out, bam, just like that. Pretty tight. Um, let's see, uh, you can you can also crop photos, like if you have a photo that you've already taken. Okay, like I have this photo that was taken earlier today at a Del Taco. Um, if I go to edit, then down here at the bottom, crop, and it lets you define a custom crop zone for the picture. And that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. Uh, and then you can crop, bam. Then it's cropped, it's done. You can also do an auto adjustment and it'll just auto adjust the colors for you. Check it out. Bam, see? Auto enhance on, then you can save it like that. Saving photo. And then you're done. And it's just as easy as that. Uh, another new thing, we also have newsstand which is uh, basically uh, you can download different apps or different magazines and newspapers uh, in the app store, as it says right there. I don't really care much about that, but some people might. We also have the Reminders app. Let's see here. Tasks. You can set different, uh, different reminders. Let's see. Um, be cool. That should be a daily reminder for me. Um, even though it's hard to forget because I'm so cool. Let's see. Remind me 
on a day. You can set the day. So there you go. So repeat every day. Every day now, my phone is going to remind me to be cool, as if I don't already know that. But it's kind of cool just to know that, you know, just in case I'll know to be cool, you know? Um, so there's your reminders app. Okay, one other thing we have here is Twitter integration. Um, so you can actually sign in with your Twitter account here, and uh, that'll allow you actually to tweet photos directly from the photo gallery. So let's go into the photo gallery real quick. Camera roll. All right, so we have this. Press that. Tweet. Bam. So I'm going to tweet this right now. Testing the tweet function from iOS 5 Twitter integration. All right, so testing the tweet function from iOS 5 Twitter, Twitter integration. So if you guys don't believe that that worked, um, you can go follow me on Twitter, at MacMixing, and you'll be able to see that picture just got tweeted. Uh, and so check it out. Also, uh, I can't show you this, but we have over-the-air updates, um, OTA updates for iOS 5. So now when there's an update, it's just going to pop up one day and be like, hey, you got an update. Update me, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we have, uh, obviously, this notification bar, which um, has like this, like tomorrow, take out trash, uh, local weather. It'll take me to the weather page if I click on it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep this in focus. Um, let's see. Do you want to change Yahoo to your search engine? Hell no, I like Google. Um, I'm specific on certain things, okay? So, let's see here. Um, we have tab browsing for iOS 5, but that's only on iPad. So, you know, that's cool, but it doesn't help us any on iPhone here. Uh, we also have, this is cool, rich text formatting. So if I want to type, hey, what's up? And then I can click on this and bold italics underline. I can make that bold. Look at that. Hey, what's up? Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, formatting an email. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature to have. It's not super important, but... All right, guys, another thing that I found out is uh, the notification center. Um, I can go, like, to phone, and I can actually turn off um, badges, uh, alerts, or banners. Uh, you can turn off, like, the badge app icon if you don't want that stupid little, uh, you know, one, red, one with a red circle above your phone when you have a missed call. You can turn that off now. Another thing I don't know if you guys noticed, too, is... Uh, they changed these little uh, these little switches to circular ones instead of squares. Uh, not very important, I guess. Um, some people might find that trivial. Um, but then you can also set for notifications. You can either have alerts, banners, or none. So you can uh, choose to have it up at the top in your notification bar, or you can choose to have a pop-up for it, or you can choose to have nothing for your alert. That's pretty cool, pretty new feature. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, guys, there's a lot of a lot of these features here. Uh, they're all really cool and innovative, and there's all little things that we've been missing. What I also see here on this list, uh, I'm actually looking at a list from TechZoom.org. I'll put the link down in the description. It's a pretty extensive list, and it has uh, over 200 new features that are on iOS 5. Now, that's not just for iPhone, though. That means for iPad iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, but it lets you know which one's which and uh, and whatnot. These are some of the new features. I'm gonna post a couple more videos outlining some of the new iOS 5 features. So stay tuned, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, um, I believe the button's up here, and uh, comment down there. So uh, thanks for watching you guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Uh, have a good day.